Blackwoods Adventures. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to do temporary and removable winter camouflage. So for starters, you need to get yourself some chalk, uh, either some weightlifting climbing chalk, powdered like this, or uh, just regular school chalk that you can toss in a magic bullet, grind up into a fine powder. You also need a paintbrush and a bowl. So put your powdered chalk in a bowl, and if you can't get chalk already in a powdered form, you can always make your own here in a blender, just break your chalk up, stick it in there. Super easy. Now it's powder. Next you're going to want to add some water to this chalk and mix it around until you have yourself a paste. Do a little bit at a time, you don't want to make it too runny. Once you have the consistency of like chocolate pudding, you're ready to start painting on your gear. Articles like this, you just toss in a washing machine and the chalk will come right out of them, just like new. And just start applying it on just like paint. And because in nature, you're never going to see just pure snow, especially in the forest. I'm going to leave some green patches on here. So you can see I haven't painted the entire glove, I've left some spots green. That way it looks a little more natural. Like I said, if you're in the forest and you're camouflaged, you're not going to see just white snow. You can paint any of your army gear that you want. Um, it works better on fabric, but it will work on wood and metal. Um, like I said, it is temporary, so it will rub off uh, if it gets wet or if you're seeing a lot of action. But it is temporary in nature, but it is also very effective. So there it is, painted up. I did leave a little bit of green, that way again it is a little more natural looking. If you do want something whiter than that, just let it dry and apply as many coats as you want until you get your desired color. You can also use different colored chalks like green, grey, black, um, just to stripe on there. Uh, they will work as well in winter camouflage. If you want a blacker colored chalk, you can add charcoal in and uh, to your chalk mixture, blend it up. It will give you a darker gray or a close to black color. Uh, that way it's still natural ingredients and very natural colors. So you can see that it's produced a more gray color than the original white. Uh, that way you can have multiple tones with your camouflage pattern. If you uh, want green, you can always use green chalk or just leave uh, green patches on your gear. Now you can see it becomes a lot darker after you add water and you can see the huge difference between the two colors. Now you can see I have three colors going on there, green, gray, and white. This will be very effective winter camouflage. And again, it is reversible. All you have to do is wash it with soap and water. Uh, just as a test of effectiveness here, you can see the German snow camouflage in the background. Here are some items that are not camouflaged. And then here's the gear that we have painted. You can see it's very effective as a winter camouflage. And uh, it is temporary in nature. So it comes off, but it works. Here's a look at how good that gear blends in, in the snow with the chalk camo. I say it does a pretty decent job. Here's another example of our chalk camouflage. I say it looks pretty good. Now let's see how well this chalk camouflage job actually works. I'll put the full suit on and we'll have ourselves a peek. Copy, you are clear to engage. 